Okay, BBay40 here, back again with uh, Zombies Recoil. This time we're going to do Kino. But here we are in the uh, lobby, just showing around the lobby. They got these cool balls you can push around and jump on top of. They have the uh, perks inside. You know, like that's the 2x double points. That's the insta kill. We just kill any zombie with just one shot with any gun. The double points. And ammo box. So anyway, uh, this is what the lobby looks like when you come into the game, the Zombies Recoil. This is a really cool game. I just love the graphics and love the, uh, the actually uh, like an Omni Man instead of a little Roblox character. Although somebody might like using little avatars in here, but I just thought it's kind of cool. Not like uh, Call of Duty. So Kino is, I think, my favorite right now. I like Verrucked a lot too, but Kino's, uh, Kino is a lot of fun to play. It's a much bigger map. And... Uh, Zombies are a little different. They run at you. Most of them run at you a lot faster than the other maps. But you get some weird ones. You get some that crawl on the ground, and uh, and you get these like ghost zombies, uh, almost like the uh, hellhounds that show up in uh, um, other games that you might play, like MMC Zombies or um, Survive and Kill the Killers in Area 51. But here's you got your different people. Medics uh, revive faster. Demolition guys, you open doors cheaper. Push your start off with a grenade launcher. Pyro I've never done. So here I'm showing you how you can add your skill points. You can take your skill points to increase your health. I've already pepped up my health about as high as you can go. And now I'm increasing my bullet damage. So when I shoot, it kills better. Plus you get these perks on the right side over here where you can buy extras that make the game a little bit easier to play. Like more drops, double points, uh, slower zombies, weaker zombies. So I can see why now maybe some people, you know, if you look at that leaderboard, <clears throat> a lot of people made over wave 100 <laughs> in this game. I mean, I, I could probably come close, but the problem is it would take me probably 10 hours or more to do it. So in this particular round, I made it through wave 51. I had to quit because I had to go leave and go do something. I just couldn't stay and play anymore. So here we are. Uh, this is where you pop in. Now this round thing right here you're standing, you see on the ground right there, is part of the teleport system. You have to come back to that to activate the teleport system. You have to um, activate that portion of it. That's the, what they call the mainframe portion. You'll see it in the as we go through the video here. I'll explain how you uh, in, uh, op operate the teleport and how you get it activated. There's uh, you know, two steps. you got to go to that platform and hit the F key to turn it on there. And then you got to go back to uh, the teleport itself and hit the F key again to activate it. So, so you have to do both before you can teleport. So anyway, I grabbed the rifle off the wall because it's only 500 points and it helps me get through like the first four or five rounds here. I want to stay about four rounds in here because I want to build up a lot, enough points to where I can run and open all the doors that lead to the power switch where I can turn all this power on. I can uh, get my colas or... Um, use the teleporter, which uh, you have to use a teleporter to pep up your guns to get the pack a punch. It's up in the room that the only way to get to it is with the teleporter. You can't pep, pep up any of your weapons without it. So you have to be able to turn the power on and, and activate the teleporter to do this. So here I'm just going through the first four rounds. I skipped around here in the video so it saved a little time. And uh, I've got 2,700 points here. I get close to 5,000 points, I think, at the end of the to the end of this round because you got you got like five more zombies with every round so here's round four dealing with 20 zombies so that's a good at least 2,000 points added on so I'm gonna run down here and grab this perk because it's double, double points. points I want more points <laughs> I get all the points I can get you see the zombies are kind of slow at this time all you have to do is just run around them and uh, that's real key to staying alive in this we have to learn how to uh, run really well in the game which you just do by holding down the shift key Helps you run faster. And jumping, hitting the space bar. You know, this is all if you're on a PC. So jumping is uh, very key to survival in a lot of cases. If you start getting crowded with zombies and they're all coming after you, then uh, just jump over them. You can actually jump on top of them jump over. You just don't want to do it in these little hallways with the low ceilings. And then you just get jammed up and then you get stuck. So you can see I'm going through the map and uh, open up doors here and there. And showing you what the map all looks like. This is like a... Like a ballroom entrance or something here with the big spiral staircase 
And uh, so going on to go, looks like some office buildings or whatever, and they got just torn apart. <laughs> and another door going to uh, backstage. This is like, I don't know, a giant opera house or something that they used here to do this, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to see if any of the zombies will follow me there, I think. So I'm running over to this. We see the power switch. And there's a uh, an M16A1 on the wall, which is a great little machine gun to get because it's right behind the teleporter. So there's the power switch. I wish these curtains open up when I turn on the power. You flip up the power, just hit the F key, and the curtains open up, which is kind of cool. <laughs> and there's a, there's a teleport machine right there. So, and this, uh, on the platform right there was a, uh, a turret gun, which you can activate with 1500 points, activates the turret gun. And it lasts for a good long time. It'll just shoot, it's almost like it's radar control. And up there in that room with that rectangular window, that's where the pep, pep machine is. But you have to use the teleporter to get up there. So, I've already turned it on. I'll show you, I'm gonna run back here. Oh, there's the uh, mystery box, good. So the mystery box is kind of right out in the open here, near the teleport machine. So, go back here and check it. Uh, I may have gone a few rounds. So, here you step on it, and it says, see, see, hit F to link the machine. So, you hit F to activate this portion of it. I'm going to run by the zombie. My gun, as you notice, it's shooting and shooting and shooting. Uh, and it just it drives me insane. So, hit F again to activate the teleporter. See, now I just, all I have to do is hit F, and it'll teleport me up to that room up there where the, pe pe the uh, pack of punch machine is. So I'm going to wait till the next round, when the zombies are all coming at me. I'm just going to kill this last one. And then uh, the zombies will all just come running at me. Oh, last two, I guess. So, I guess I, uh, I used it up another time. So I'm in round seven now, so I'm going to run back here. I have to reactivate them. I've already used them up. I'm, just, I'm skipping through here just to save some time. Because this was like a, I shot some, probably recorded two or two, three hours worth of video here. So I turned the first part on. This is what I do at the end of each round. You have to run out there to kill that last zombie. Run out there, activate that, and then activate this. And then hit F again to teleport. So this portion here, you have to hit F twice. Once to activate it, and then hit F again to teleport. And any zombies that come in like that, they end up getting killed by the teleporter. And it's a pat machine. Now what's cool about this, I do this at the beginning of every round. You can see how those zombies just gather down below. And you just sit up here and shoot them through the window. Take them all out. You can at least cut down the numbers as much as you can before you have to get back out there and fight with them. And now I'm going to pep up this gun. That's my M16. I'm pepping it up for the first time. First time is 5,000 points. Second time is 7,500 points. And you can actually pep it three times. The third time is 10,000 points. And it ends up uh, being pretty darn strong. And last, uh, uh, it's a good weapon to have. Like I said, the, uh, the, the ammo you can refill right behind a teleporter. The gun's hanging right there on the wall, which you can use for ammo. So I got going through these boxes, and I don't know if you watched my uh, MMC zombie video, but uh, I went to wave 50, around 50, and I had the same damn thing happen here. I went through 50 rounds, probably opened a box 100 times, and never saw the ray gun. There is a ray gun in this game, and it's a pretty good gun. It's pretty powerful. So it's nice to have if you can get it. <laughs> I just never seem to get the damn thing. <laughs> So, <clears throat> over there, you saw that blue machine over there on the right. That's that useless waste of points uh, revive cola that doesn't work. It still doesn't work. At least I still haven't figured it out. <laughs> My friends haven't figured it out either. I don't know how the hell that damn thing works. So, I just uh, I reactivated again. And uh, getting back in here again. You see, I'm just showing the process running up and back, up and back. At the end of the round, you activate the circle. And then you run back here. Now I'm pepping up some more. I got some more points. So now they turn green when you pep them the second time. And just uh, killing more zombies. You only get about maybe 30 seconds up here, I think. And uh, so you gotta kill as many of these zombies as you can in that 30 seconds. Save yourself that much more trouble you'd have to go through with the killable when you get down there. Yeah, you know, wave after wave after wave to get more and more and more zombies. They don't seem to get any faster, really. It's just more of them. <laughs> they become more annoying and uh, a lot more to fight. So another way to get back there is, uh, let's see if we can do this, go by the right. Oh, there's the uh, mystery box there. The mystery box. the mystery box in this game does teleport to different locations. 
And I found it actually does teleport in different locations in Varak also. There's multiple locations where the, the uh, mystery box might be located. So here we are. See, so get back on that. That's the machine that you gotta you gotta stand on it when after you kill the last zombie. So I'm gonna show you the uh, colas now. So you have to go out the side doors, close to that uh, teleport uh, portal, the uh, mainframe portal there, the, the lobby where you come in. Here's the double tap. It's outside. It's actually outside the building. And around the corner here is another spot. We could get a mystery box there on the left. And there's another machine gun here on the wall, which is not a bad machine gun. So there's your double tap, 2,000 points. And there's my gun, still shooting by itself. And it did it probably all the way up to like wave 30. It was so irritating. <laughs> Just constantly shooting by itself. Constantly misfiring. Just discharging all by itself. So around the side here, there's your, uh, your uh, Juggernaug. Which, if you get the tank uh, army man, which I got, the tank soldier, it, it automatically has the juggernaut built into it, so you don't have to buy that one. That's why I couldn't actually get it. And see that? The zombies push your gun out of the way if they get too close to you. They'll actually push your gun out of the way so you can't shoot them. <laughs> and actually, they're hitting you at the same time. And you see all the zombies just all run to this one spot. It's almost like playing a zombie rush now. The, the terrible uh, tracking that they put in the zombies. So many places you can hide, and the zombies will just pile up right in front of you and you just shoot them. And this gun I got here, I don't know what it's called. It's an awesome machine gun. I loved it. And, uh, the first time I ever had it, and I got it all triple papped, and it was really a, a powerful gun. But it takes a little while to reload it, but it holds uh, all together like 500 rounds or more. And a very strong gun. Uh, if I ever get a chance to get it again, I'm going to get it again because it's really good. So, yeah, these are the rounds. See, back here again, waiting to kill my last zombie. And uh, I'm not sure if he shows up here if I have to go hunt him down, but that circle thing I'm standing on, that's the, what's I guess, considered the mainframe. So you have to turn this on first and then run back out to the teleport and turn that on and just teleport up to the pet machine. So this is uh, this is the map. This is how it all works here in this particular game. And this uh, zombies recoil. This is the Kino map. And this is the mystery box that moved over this location over here. So I'm going to show you. I pretty much this the uh, um, mule kick. And what I found out what this does, mule kick, is it actually gives you a third option, uh, a slot for a third weapon. So I was actually able to have three different weapons in the final rounds after I got that mule kick. And there's your uh, speed cola. That speed cola, cola helps you reload your guns much quicker. See how quick that was just then. So now I'm going to take you into the final, well, one of my final runs. This is wave 49. And this just let me, uh, run through the complete wave 49 to see how intense it can be when you start getting up the high waves. And that's my, man, I just love that gun. <laughs> you see how you have to load it though. You have to put like a whole big clip on the top. But it's a health gun and holds a lot of ammo. I've already gone through 100 rounds, I still have 400 left. So it's a great gun if you get it. I just can't remember what it's called. Like an AFK or something. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not that, or AKZ. It has, has some weird name to it. I have to look it up again. So the guns I did get the M16s on the wall behind the teleport machine. I grabbed that one because it's right there where I can re keep reloading it when I need to. And when you get it all triple papped, it's a strong gun. It's a good one to get. So here I turn on the turret. So when you get to those higher rounds too, these turrets really help out a lot. They really help you keep the zombie zombie numbers under control. I mean, you don't need to be killing every zombie yourself because you don't need all the points anymore. You already got your guns all papped up. You got your colas. You're all good to go. It's just a matter of killing and surviving each round. And you see how that thing just shoots all over the place. It's like radar radar guided. And it takes out just constantly killing any zombies that are in the area. And of course, if there's too many, you got to take the extras out yourself. <clears throat> now, what I also got in here is the uh, the Wonder Gun, or a Thunder Gun. I'm sorry, it's called the Thunder Gun. And it's almost like a ray gun. It puts out this circular ray that just blasts everything in the area. And you get to see that here shortly because I I definitely have to use it. Um, when you get large, and the, the fun thing though is that you can gather these, you gather these zombies in groups. You kind of run around. You see these big partitions back there in the middle of this big room, 
I just kind of run around those in a circle and gather up a bunch of zombies and uh, pull out the pull out the thunder gun and kill them all in one or two shots. So, um, and I also like this area here because it's a really, really high ceiling. You can jump on top of the zombies or jump over them if you need to. And like I said before, jumping is a very important skill to learn because uh, you get a bunch of zombies around you, you can jump up and over them and jump on top of them to get away from them. Where if you're stuck in a small area, uh, like a narrow passage with a low ceiling, you can end up getting jammed up and killed, which I've actually been killed several times that way. I just got myself so jammed up with zombies in a small contained area that I just could not get out no matter what I did. So that's why I like staying out in this open area now. You just keep moving around. Don't, don't try to stay in one spot for too long. Just keep moving. Back and forth, uh, sideways, run around in circles. See, if you stand too long, you get hit. They just constantly sneak up behind you. They always there. Now I'm going to pull out the uh, thunder gun. You see how this works. It's pretty cool. So you run around and try to get a group of zombies together in one area. And just blast them. And it just kind of sends them all flying and just wastes them all. It just almost like melts them. <laughs> That's a cool gun. So this is an option I went with because I couldn't get the ray gun. I, I couldn't show you the ray gun, unfortunately. But this gun here is pretty good. I wasn't too uh, disappointed with this gun. Because uh, both of them, I mean, the ray gun and this gun, can take out a large group of zombies in one shot. And both of them really, what you got to do is, like I'm aiming down, you want to hit the ground and get kind of a dispersion. You want the um, shot to disperse all around and bounce off the gun, off the ground, and uh, take all the zombies out in the area. And you can do that with a ray gun too, to get the most out of the ray gun. You don't want to just shoot it directly at a zombie. You want to shoot it at the ground in the middle of a group. And it'll take them all out in that one shot. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that very much. Uh, leave comments, anything you know, and tell your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.